All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. So today we have a bit of a surprise update here. As you can see, there are April 23rd, 2021 patch notes. Now, uh, basically what this is, is new weapon tuning, zombies updates, 2XP weekend, etc., etc. Also, mainly I want to talk about the movement adjustments that they literally just made. And this is kind of funny because I just made a video before this one talking about what's the new underbarrel meta since they nerfed the SFOD speed grip. It looks like they're doing a little bit more changes than we thought. So let's just go over these patch notes really quickly. We'll skim through it. So uh, just pause at the parts that you really want to just read, you know, if you're more into that kind of information. So here we have the weapon tuning, zombies updates, and more. Welcome to season three. In our latest update, we've made some adjustments to the AK-74U patrol grip underbarrel, which is what I was advising you guys to start using, and the speed grip underbarrel to ensure that SMGs remain faster to sprint than assault rifles by default. So this was obviously the biggest issue after season three came out, because why would they make assault rifles faster than SMGs? It just doesn't make sense from a logical standpoint. Uh, anyways, uh, this is all zombies information here. You can pause that if you're into zombies. Um, so there's a free multiplayer weekend here and outbreak for free. And uh, this is now live through 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, April 28th. So you guys have about, uh, what is that, five days? Five days to play for free if you guys don't own it. But I'm sure if you're watching this video, you already own it. Um, let's see here. All right. So double XP weekend is starting right now and here's just more information about that here's ui information you guys can read it i don't want to make this video way too long uh because i still want to do some testing and show you guys what is the best underbelt to use after this so just you know pause if need be so anyways here it is multiplayer weapons submachine guns ak-74u increase the base sprint speed to align with other smg sprint speeds so obviously there, th this is something that really confused me when I was looking at the stats of all the SMGs and comparing them I noticed the 74U was uh, lagging it was slower so that didn't make any sense to me I didn't know where the logic was coming from uh, behind that why would they make that so so much slower uh, versus the other SMGs so now apparently they increased the ba base uh, sprint speed to align with other SMG sprint speeds so that's a good thing uh, increased shooting move speed and reload sprint speed also a good thing now this is where it gets a little frustrating because I just told you guys okay so patrol grip under barrel slightly reduced the sprint speed bonus for patrol grip under barrel for SMGs to match pistol sprint speed all right so definitely we are going to test this out if I remember correctly the sprint speed bonus of the patrol grip was four percent so um, we're definitely gonna have to put this head-to-head -head versus the pistol sprint speed so we can see if they actually do match and then uh, yeah hopefully the meta doesn't change as far as what's the underbarrel to use for your SMGs so of course we're gonna get into that assault rifles QBZ 83 attachments patrol grip underbarrel added a sprint to fire bonus for the patrol grip underbarrel slightly reduced the patrol grip sprint speed bonus okay so it looks like they they reduced it here as well uh, I'm not sure why they singled out the QBZ. Haven't really had a chance to, you know, look in depth on the QBZ stats, but maybe it was just moving way too much faster versus the other SMGs when you put on the patrol grip. Uh, attachments, assault rifles, tactical rifles, sniper rifles, speed grip under barrel for all of these uh, basically is what they're saying. Slightly reduced sprint speed bonus for the speed grip under barrel on all assault rifles, tactical rifles, and sniper rifles to ensure SMGs maintain a faster sprint speed when using the same attachment. Developers note, the overall goal of these changes, let me just make sure you guys see, is to ensure that SMGs are faster to use than assault rifles by default. The AK-74U required some slight speed increases in order to bring it in line with the rest of its class, and sprint speed bonuses for the speed grip under barrel on assault rifles, tactical rifles, and sniper rifles required an adjustment to ensure SMGs are faster to sprint with compared to these classes when using this attachment. Okay, so this is a step in the right direction because like I said, at the beginning of season three, all these like uh, tuning changes that they made to the speed, it just didn't make a lot of sense. You know, Call of Duty has always been where, you know, the smaller weapon is going to make you move faster. So yeah, I'm really glad that they addressed this issue right away. This is a good thing. It means that they're listening to the community and they're listening to feedback. All right, so movement. 
reduced the time that it takes to transition out of a slide to a standing position, made adjustments to the delay when transitioning between crouch and stand. So they basically reverted slide canceling. So slide canceling is back in the game. So uh, all you slide cancelers out there, this is good news for you guys. Uh, mode search and destroy reduce volume of the audio stingers when a player is eliminated so the rest is all just like zombie stuff just like positive you know you're interested in this kind of stuff but that's basically it so now i just want to get into the gunsmith i want to go ahead and test the patrol grip under barrel once again and then i want to test it versus a pistol speed all right so i went ahead and tested all of the under barrels once again that do claim that they do improve your sprinting move speed as well as the pistol just so we can get a comparison here so first we're going to see the patrol grip Grip, which apparently the sprinting move speed was slightly reduced so we don't know exactly how much but you know we're gonna find out now and now we're gonna see the patrol grip versus the red cell foregrip and we're just gonna go here frame by frame and I've also put that green line as well just so we can see who reaches it first so as soon as I see that head touch that green line uh, that's obviously who is the winner of this race I'm just gonna speed it up here because I don't want this to be too long of a video all right, let's slow it down here. And it looks uh, pretty, pretty dead even in my opinion. I mean, as we get closer to this green line, you know, when you move forward in frames and once we pass that green line, the patrol grip is pretty much about the same sprinting move speed as the red cell four grip. All right, so up next, we got the patrol grip versus the bruiser. And they're off. Speed this up for you guys. All right, they're going, they're going. Almost there. Let's back this up. Let's go a little bit smaller in frames. Yeah, they look pretty identical once again. Yeah, for sure the patrol grip and the bruiser grip are identical. Very interesting because the bruiser gives us 3% whereas the patrol grip gives us 4%. So. There's definitely some discrepancies there, uh, but at least now you guys know that the Bruiser is pretty much on par with the Red Cell and the Patrol Grip, so they're all pretty similar as far as sprinting move speed goes. All right, up next, we have the Patrol Grip versus the SFOD Speed Grip. Now, the Speed Grip, the sprinting move speed bonus was reduced from 10% to 3% after the Season 3 update. So, we're going to find out now to see if there, you know, was any silent tweaks to the speed grip because we already knew the speed grip was pretty much chalked you know it was, it was an attachment that you kind of wanted to avoid because it, it didn't even increase your sprinting move speed whatsoever all right so let's start off this race here and they're off all right let's get closer here i can already see a pretty noticeable difference between the patrol grip it has a slight lead over the speed grip all right, as you can see, I mean, the head of the operator is already touching the green line. Speed grip is nowhere even near that. So uh, I, at least that's the good news because I, I made an underbarrel video about which underbarrels you guys should be using. And SFOD, an SFOD speed grip is definitely a barrel that you should avoid. All right, and for the last and final test, this is the patrol grip versus the pistol speed. According to the patch notes, it says that the patrol grip is now going to be on par with pistol speeds. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's zoom in a little bit more as far as frames go. Slight edge by a hair goes to the pistol speed, but you know, obviously when this translates in a real life situation, you literally won't be able to tell. I mean, yeah, they're pretty much neck and neck literally so so now that we know the results of what are the under barrels that are actually worth using let's actually break it down now some of these attachments do have some negatives to it so for example the red cell foregrip yes it is pretty much neck and neck with the patrol grip as well as the bruiser grip but you know look at these cons man the movement speed shooting move speed as well as that aim walking movement speed you know why would we want to sacrifice all that stuff just for the sake of sprinting move speed so you're actually better off just using the patrol grip still or the bruiser grip the bruiser grip could be a good uh second choice and then remember stay away from the spetsnaz speed grip this is not going to improve that 
uh, sprinting move speed whatsoever. Yes, it does come with the horizontal recoil control, which is huge. But at this point, with the cons that it comes with, and the sprinting move speed is pretty much non-existent, uh, you might as well just go with the foregrip if you're looking for horizontal recoil control. So uh, that is just my recommendations for sprinting move speed, patrol grip, or bruiser grip. You cannot go wrong with these two. Just want to keep you guys informed and updated on the changes that are happening as they come in. So make sure to leave a like on this video if you did learn something or if you enjoyed. And make sure to subscribe to make your way back and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. Yo, if you guys are always on your computer all day or you like to game for long sessions, definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com for these blue light blocking glasses. Quite literally, the best blue light glasses that you can ever find on the market. Make sure to check out GamerAdvantage.com and just learn more about it, man. There's so many benefits to keeping your eyes nice and healthy. You won't feel that strain at the end of the day. And you'll go to sleep like a baby at the end of the day, and that's the best part. You won't feel tired at all. Definitely check out GamerAdvantage.com. Use code TURBO at checkout.